Welcome back to another video. Um, so for this example, we are going to be looking at root array. So um, in root array, sometimes they, they give you a polynomial and then they ask you to derive the actual root array. But in this example, we are given the array itself is already constructed for a control system. Um, and the question here is to find the denominator of the closed loop function. And so I'm not going to get into the details of, you know, the theoretical background of Ruth. Again, I'm assuming you have already done that in class. So we're just going to jump straight into solving this problem. And that's what I like to do. I like to just get practical to get you what you need in order to pass your classes, to pass your exam, whatever it is. All right. So what is the format, the actual from when you're given a um, polynomial? The array is formed uh, this way, and if you remember, you have as n, you know, whatever, this is the order of the polynomial. So if it's 4, that's 4, it's 5, whatever, so you go all the way down um, to n minus uh, 1 here, s minus 2, all the way down to, um, you know, s2. So this is just a format, uh, S3, I mean, um, S1, all the way to, to S0. So for your array, these are your coefficients. Right, so you have um, a n here. Um, and then you go down even numbers. So this would be a n minus 2, a n minus 4, um, et cetera, et cetera, minus 6, minus 8. So for your odd, you have, um, you start with a n minus 1. It's like a matrix, basically. a n minus 3, a n minus 5 etc etc and then here you have your constant um, that you derive uh, from you know multiplying these by that divided by the a n minus 1 but for the sake of this video we're not going to do that I'll solve other problems where we'll, we'll you know we'll, we'll go through it but I just want to show you how um, you know the format of the actual root array so you have b1 here B2, B3, etc. And then you have, um, you know, C1, C2, and then here you got some, you know, whatever values, constant, all the way down, you know, depending on however you name them, um, KL, I don't know, M, whatever. So these are just, you know, constant that you derive actually using the array itself. So for B1, just as an example, so B1 would have been, if we were to calculate B1, uh, this would be multiplying just like, a, you know, you would if you find the determinant of a matrix. So you multiply um, a n minus 1, these two, you multiply these two, and these two, and then you divide by that one. For B2, for instance, you're going to use this uh, row right here and then this row right here. So for B1, if we were to calculate B1, that will be A minus 1, A n 2, minus A n, A n minus 3 over A n minus 1. But again, um, you know, we're not, we're not, for the sake of this problem, we're not, we're not doing that here, but I just wanted to show you how to how to derive that. So this is given, right? So the format of oh, let me use a different color. So the polynomial itself is written as if you know q of s is a n uh, s n plus a n minus 1 
s n minus one plus a n minus two s n minus two all the way to um, a one s one plus a zero which is a constant so this is the format of the poly the denominator the, you know the polynomial denominator so pretty much at this point we 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 got what we need right because we are given a we know the order already right because this is your order at your highest order that's four in this case so we have four three two one all the way to zero so we know that our polynomial is of order four so following this format over here i know that my denominator would be written this way for our example here um, i have a four s four plus a three s three to the power three plus a two s to the power two plus a one s to the power one of course plus a a zero right so going back to our example so all we're going to do here right now is just identify using the matrix over here the array here using the table that we are given here so um, for s4 then it will be a4 a2 and then a0 right so let's 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 write it that way let's follow that format and then have s4 s3 s2 and then s1 i'm just going to put uh, a4 here a2 and then a0 for s3 i have a3 a1 um and um that's it right so this is a not nine so so pretty much i have everything i need right so my qs from here is then equal to so what's a4 right so this is a4 a2 and then a0 and um comparing so we're just comparing right now so this is a3 so this is a3 and this is a um a1 so a4 is equal to one so you know it's equal to one so then i have s to the power four what's a3 using this matrix so a3 is this one right here right a3 is seven so i'm going to write seven s cube plus a2 what's a2 this is a2 the middle one a2 is 12 so i'm going to put 12 s squared plus a1 what's a1 a1 is this one right here under s3 so a1 is 10 plus 14k so i'm gonna put it 10 plus 14k s to the power one which is s and then a0 a0 is this number right here after a2 in this case is 42k so i have plus 42 and s is a constant so i don't need anything else 42k so this is the answer to the question of finding the denominator given a root array so essentially if this was a multiple choice question you could you, you would be able to quickly recognize your you know your coefficients and plug so it's just a matter of just coming here and um you know 
understanding that this is your A4 and um, you know A2 so this is even this is odd so you understand the matrix and how it's formatted you just identify what's what as far as the coefficients and you just plug it using the format of the polynomial so as soon as you recognize that the polynomial is of order of the highest order here then it's just a matter of plugging your coefficient so it's not too bad um, you know in a format of multiple choice questions you can quickly recognize it otherwise I just wanted to show you how to quickly derive that and understanding um, how to recognize your, your coefficient so let me know if you have any questions thank you